And it's Mario. Jao Mario goes long and forward. He's off on a marauding run. Goal! Portugal! De Gea did well the first time. <laughs> Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, listen, last line of defence and you don't get it right. Assalamualaikum bosku, terima kasih sudah mampir Di video kali ini saya mau tes main PS 2017 di Android ya Kenapa harus PS 2017? Karena PS 2017 itu lumayan ringan Dan kalau kita mau cari patch atau modnya itu gampang sekali untuk didapatkan bos Untuk emu yang saya pakai adalah Winlator versi 10 hotfix ya bos Oke, okay, di sini kita akan melakukan settingan dulu biar gamenya berjalan dengan optimal. Kita ke setting ini ya. Boxnya kita pakai 0.3.4. Di bagian performa ini kita klik tambah. Kemudian kita berikan nama PS biar mudah dikenali. Kita klik selesai. Lalu di sini di bagian big blocknya kita pilih 3 ya. Kemudian forwardnya kita pilih 512. Setelah itu kita klik OK dan benar. Kita cek sekali lagi. Oke, okay, kita ubah ini ke PS Bos. Kita klik benar. Kemudian kita klik tambah Bos. Lalu di sini kita akan melakukan settingan ya. Grafiknya kita pilih turnip ya. DXFK nya biarkan default juga Oke okay, kita geser ke sini di environment environment variable kita geser ke bawah kita klik add kita klik yang ini ya di gambar not ini kita pilih DXFK hood kita klik Oke okay guys kemudian di sini kita centang FPS aja guys lalu kita ke advanced Startupnya kita pilih agresif, semua CPU kita centang, kita klik benar. Oke, sekarang kita akan running containernya, guys. Selanjutnya, bosku, kita pergi ke start dulu ya. Kita pergi ke start, lalu kita pergi ke system tool, geser ke atas di bagian installer kita. Pasang dulu Wine Gecko dan Mono. Kita pasang dulu Gecko-nya. Selanjutnya kita pasang lagi Gecko-nya, Bos. Mono maksud saya. Gecko dan Mono kita harus pasang keduanya ya, Bos. Oke, okay, nice. Di sini ada 4 disk ya. Kita ke disk D. Disk D ini adalah penyimpanan internal kalian ya. Kemudian kita cari PS-nya, Bos. Oke, okay, di sini kita pilih browser, browser, lalu kita centang yang di disk D, kita klik oke, okay. klik next, next lagi. Oke, okay, di sini kita uncentang aja ya, kita klik finish, kita balik lagi ke disk D. Lalu kita masuk di folder ini ya. Kemudian kita coba buka setting ini. Kita klik dua kali. Lalu kita geser ke geser layarnya. Kemudian kita pergi ke Task Manager untuk memantau apakah sudah running atau belum. Oke, okay, sudah running guys. Kemudian di screen mode ini kita pilih full screen. Resolusi kita pilih 12 ini ya 1280 kali 720. Kemudian untuk grafik di sini kalian sesuaikan aja dengan devis kalian guys. Di sini saya mau pakai yang medium. Lalu kita klik Oke. Okay. Oke okay, sekarang kita geser dulu layarnya guys. Kemudian kita pilih input control. 
pilih RTS biar mudah ya. Kita pilih di sini MRR MRB. Kemudian kita create shortcut. Kita hilangkan lagi input kontrolnya guys. Oke, okay, kita back guys. Oke, okay, setelah itu kita pergi ke sini ya. Garis garis 3 ini. Kemudian kita pergi ke shortcut. Lalu kita akan setting lagi guys. Kita klik yang ini guys. Kemudian klik setting. Oke, okay, di sini di bagian screennya kalian sesuaikan dengan device kalian ya. Kalian pakai 720 ke bawah dan kalian harus pakai yang 16 banding 9 ya. Oke, okay, di sini saya pakai 720. Kemudian di bagian turnipnya biarkan default ya. Atau kalian bisa coba 241 dulu. Kita klik oke. Okay. Kemudian DXFK. Di DXFK ini kalian bisa pilih DXFK 110.3 ke atas ya. Di sini ada 241. Kalian juga bisa mendownloadnya di sini ya. Oke. Okay. Di sini saya pakai 241 aja guys. Kemudian kalian geser ke bawah, kita pergi ke pancet. Oke, okay, nice seperti ini ya. Kita klik oke. Okay. Sebelum membukanya kita cek terlebih dahulu boxnya. Karena biasanya itu dia berubah ya. Oke, okay, sudah aman. Sekarang kita bisa buka PS-nya guys. Untuk menampilkan tombolnya kalian bisa geser layarnya ke sini input control. Kalian pergi ke virtual gamepad guys. Oke, okay, sudah terbuka ya. Berarti game ini sudah bisa kita mainkan. Tapi jika kalian menemukan slow pada saat kalian bermain, kalian bisa geser layarnya ke kiri ini ya. Kemudian kalian pergi ke task manager. Lalu kalian pilih yang titik tiga ini, pilih proses prosesor ini ya kemudian kalian hilangkan centang CPU kosong ini kalian klik Oke OK, Oke OK lagi Oke okay, seperti itu ya jika kalian menemukan slow pada saat kalian bermain Oke okay ya guys seperti ini kita bisa memainkannya mungkin di konten selanjutnya itu kita akan pasang patchnya ya soalnya ini belum update Real Madrid juga belum ada guys ya logo-logonya masih versi masih jadul guys Real Madrid belum ada bos oke sekarang kita ke gameplaynya aja Difficult, but I'll go for Cesc Fabregas. He's always thrived in the most competitive of areas on a football pitch by continually assessing the traffic around him, and, and that awareness, coupled with his technical strength, has elevated his game to world class. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nani. Spoon forward. Silva. And it's Morata. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Portugal have a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Eliseu. Cristiano Ronaldo plays it out to the wing. And he's 
made sure that that won't get through. Iniesta. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Eliseu. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Now it's Morata. A chance! It's come loose. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. De Gea gets it upfield. And it's Mario, Jao Mario, who's long and forward. He's off on a marauding run. Goal, Portugal! De Gea did well the first time, <laughs> nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, this is the last line of defence and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. <laughs> Portugal break the deadlock. Oh, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Fiorina tries to get it forward quickly. Nani. Jao Mario pushes it out wide. Now the pass. He slid it through. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Silva, Juan Fran passes it through. Gel Mario, PK. Good challenge. He just stood firm, steered out wide. Silva, wonderful quick feet. Now it's Nolito. Decent enough try. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. William Carvalho. So, they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Looks to slip it through. Morata with the ball through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Portugal can be fairly pleased with themselves. The fact that they're forcing the opposition to come at them and try and level things is playing into their hands. And I think the counter-attack may yet pay dividends again. Portugal leading 1-0 at the break. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Tries a through ball. Can he finish? He has done it! And with that goal comes comfort! <laughs> Jim Yorfors. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass that's what happens Portugal have a couple of goals without reply it's 2-0 that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods I mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three Nani Fiorina did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Sergio Ramos. Iniesta. Cesc Fabregas. And it's Silva. Lobs it in gently. And he's on his way! 
Sergio Busquets. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long, so they're running a fine line there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Defenders on the back foot. Looks like a good ball through. No, that's not going to find its target. Great effort, he flew in with courage. I just thought it was great effort. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Tete. Cristiano Ronaldo. Out to the left it goes. Aturis. William Carvalho, Sergio Busquets charges in, now it's Adjuris, looking to force his way through. Adjuris showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Tries to dink it in. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Juris with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. Ricardo Carvalho. And it's Mario. Looks to slip it through. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Portugal presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Jordi Alba. Adjuris. Sesc Fabregas. Adjuris. Rafa Silva. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. William Carvalho. Pedro with the ball through. Adjuris. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, should have put that away. Oh, it was a real opportunity to get right back into this game, but they've got to forget it now. Move on, it's gone. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Mario. Nani. Eliseu. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Juan Fran. Aturis. Tries a through ball. He's pinged one through here. Silva gets it back. Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? Finishing doesn't come simpler.